or to talk about computers, marketing, and the internet. We're here with Murray Fallon from CBC Productions. Murray's going to tell us all about marketing using the internet today. Hi, Murray. Hi, Sue. Murray, can you tell me, what is it that CBC Production does? Well, what we do is we help businesses promote themselves by marketing them on the internet. Wow. In other words, what we do is we help businesses make money on the internet. How? <laughs> well, first of all, we will produce websites for them, mm -hmm. uh, design and produce a web page, but we will also, once they have a web page, we will make sure that they get no on the internet. We will do it through uh, registering them with search engines, do press releases, uh, do emails, uh, send it to our, we have a large mailing list, all types of promotion on the internet. What is the advantage of, of marketing using the internet over just typical means? Well, the biggest advantage of marketing on the internet is that you're reaching an audience of maybe between 40 and 70 million people around the world. Oh. It's a lot more economical to, to uh, market on the internet than it is anywhere else. It's a lot cheaper than print advertising, mm -hmm. and you can do a lot more. You can put a lot more information on your website than you can on a newspaper ad or a 30-second commercial. Well, what kind of things can you put on your website? Can you put video or things like that? You can, but video is still a bit premature right now, so mm -hmm. most of the better sites still are static in the way that they're still pictures, but you can put full-color pictures, and you can put a lot of text, and I can show you some examples of what we do for very little money uh -huh. uh, for some clients to be able to promote them all over the world. Well, show me, sure. So we have what's called a Vancouver and Victoria, Victorian Vancouver Island Travel Guide. Right. And just to give you an example of how inexpensive it is to produce a website right. or what they can get out of it, I could go to one of these bed and breakfasts. Yeah. And for example, um, the Edwardian Inn. The Edwardian Inn. Right. This, oh, this, this beautiful. This is an example of a very inexpensive website mm -hmm. that gives all the information that people would want about their uh, about their site. About their business, yeah. Yes. And people will then send them an email. Yeah. We'll also contact them through a, an order form right on there. Oh. And they will actually make reservations right on the internet. Oh. And this is one place, for example, the Edwardian Inn have told me that a majority of their business comes right off the internet. That's amazing. Now, that brings up a really good question. I think you know what I'm going to say. Yes. I'm going to make a reservation with this bed and breakfast over the internet. Right. I'm going to have to give my credit card number. That's right. Oh, well, talk to me about this. I'm a little scared. Well, you know, it's easy, it's, well, it's safer to give you a credit card over the internet than it really is if you give it to a waiter at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Just because you give you a credit card on the internet, it's going over telephone lines. There are millions upon millions of people transacting business on the internet. Right. And it's just as safe as any other medium. Matter of fact, it's safer because you don't lose your credit card. As long as you know the person on the other end of the line, you're very safe. In fact, we have um, the media uh -huh. and the press making this to be a lot bigger than it really is, a lot bigger concern. I've never heard of anybody stealing anything, any credit cards over the internet. Well, what, about, what about those hackers? Can they get in and actually look at my, you know, it's, it's going over the phone line it's here. Taking, it's, it takes a millisecond to go over the phone line, okay. but I mean, if you swipe your card in the retail store, it's going over the same phone line and they can get in that way too. Uh -huh. uh, so, in theory, you can get it. We put, we put all, just to be on the safe side, we put all our clients on this what's called a secure server, oh, okay. which means that the credit card number is encrypted mm -hmm. so no one can really get to it. Right. And that way it's pretty safe to go through it. But even without this, without the secure server, it's still safer than giving your card to the store or anywhere else you give your card to. Oh, that's terrific. So when you say encrypted, you mean it's scrambled? It, it's, scra it's totally scrambled, So yes. I can't grab it and read it? Even if you could grab it, which is pretty hard to do because it takes a millisecond to go through, but even if you could, uh -huh. you wouldn't be able to read it at all. Oh, Marie, that's, that's, a, that's fantastic. So I can actually do my marketing on the internet, and I can allow people to make reservations if I have no one at bed and breakfast. And that's been going on for the last couple of years uh, in a right. very big way, especially here in Victoria and Vancouver Island, where we have a lot of tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the best ways of doing it, one of the most inexpensive, like this yeah. page that we showed you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that client just paid about maybe $150, and they're advertising all around the world. Thank you very much, Murray. That's You're fascinating. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Sue. Thank you.